Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon, so I'm going to be reviewing a live action film titled The Happiest Millionaire. Because, well, why not? I need to review more Disney stuff anyway, so let's just go into it, shall we? So, of course, as always, let's get into, into the plot, shall we? Here we go. So uh, basically, the story begins in autumn of 1916, and the story itself follows an immigrant from Ireland named John as he applies for a butler position with this particular happy-go-lucky exotic millionaire. And let's just say things do follow suit, even though the family is a bit strange. So, well, things do happen anyway as the story progresses. The Happiest Millionaire was released first to VHS tape in 1983. Uh, then it was later reissued in 1986, three years after the original release. Both versions of this release are of the 144 minute version. And then another company had released separate DVDs of both the long and short versions of this particular film January 20th 1999 the long version presented on video the first time and on widescreen and then the short version was a little less than that but anyway Disney had released its own DVD version of the film on June 1st 2004 including the long version of this film it only really missing the other versions of, of this film of the transfer music at the end of the third act it's considered as a box office failure which in, in some ways is a sad thing right here because lots of the music is really nicely done folks It's beautifully made with the music so those songs are really here are top notch. So the music itself is really good here, folks. Well, it's a Disney movie, so what do you expect, of course? The musical numbers are really enjoyable to hear and look at, and very engaging as well. And I thought the actors and actresses did the music really well done, folks. So I can honestly say that the overall acting is actually really well done here, folks. And yes, this film looks really expensive to be made. Oh boy. But this film is definitely gets a recommendation for me, folks. This is definitely one of the better live-action Disney films I've seen over the years. They sure don't make these live-action films like they used to, folks. I just find it kind of odd that the charm of the old Disney films are definitely much better than a lot of the newer stuff they made over the years. Definitely from, like, the... 2000s and up the live-action Disney films don't really have the same charm the same wit, the same kind of atmosphere that the original films did and Overall this is definitely a pretty good film folks and I do recommend it because it's actually really well made I do like the acting as I said, as I said a moment ago even the outfits were really nice from the wardrobes that were designed for the men and the women as well so, not the, the outfits, even the simple outfits were nicely done in here, folks. So, I did like that. So, that's definitely a good thing there. So, even the environments in which they're in are nice. I like the set designs in here, folks. So, yeah, they came off like there's lots of space around them. It's not all close-ups and whatnot. You really do get the sense of the area that they're in. So, that's definitely a good thing there. You do get a sense of the time period that the characters are on here, folks. So, I guess you can say that's actually a good thing there. So, this was definitely something that was well made overall. So, everything about this was really well constructed. So, uh, I'm, I'm ashamed that not a whole lot of people speak this, about this film. Which I thought was kind of odd because this film was actually really well done. I do think this was a pretty good film as a whole. The happiest 
Millionaire is a very lively musical adaptation of the hit 1957 Broadway play, and, and it does a good job at, at it as it is. So in some ways, you can actually say that this was a musical, and so if you're a musical fan, I would definitely say that this film is definitely for you. So, be sure to check this film out, yes sir. Yeah, there's been many people out there who really dislike this film, which I don't understand as to why, because of the fact of the matter is that this film is very heartwarming, and the character introductions and interacting with each other do feel genuine, they don't feel contrived or anything, so that's something there. This is a film that the entire family can enjoy. There's nothing really graphic, there's nothing really offensive to be found here, so basically the entire family can actually enjoy this film, folks. So it definitely does have the old Disney charm, the old touch from Walt Disney when he was around. So, yeah, that's, that's a good thing there. I do like the colors that were used for this film. It's never too much and it's never too little. Just a random amount of color, of course. So that's a good thing there. So, yeah, this film d definitely came off. It was being made by a professional filmmaker and does show it off. So that's a good thing there. So nothing here came off amateurs at all. A lot of the character introductions and whatnot were handled real, very skillfully. So this is something that was definitely done by a studio and that had lots of money into it. So even the framing, the way it was shot, the way it was handled, a lot of the ways this film was, you know, filmed was actually really well done as a whole. So again, I did appreciate the fact that it was some actual effort being done into this particular film. The props and sets were nicely placed together. So that's a good thing because I can see that they were really trying to make a delightful film for this particular movie, which in a lot of ways they actually did there. I can honestly say that I did enjoy this film a lot more than a lot of their live action movies coming out nowadays. Because you ever you haven't heard the news there's been many, many remakes of the old Disney stuff. I don't never understood that. Why do they have to be so many live action remakes of old cartoons? I'm surprised this film is getting remade because, you know, it's old. I might be remaking some of their old live action stuff, maybe. Stopping me from thinking that they're going to eventually remake Ratatouille. That's what, that was one of the biggest hits there. The live action remake of Atlanta does look pretty bad, folks. Oh boy. And yes, even Mulan is going to get remade. And I'm not happy about that. Even, there's been some stuff for the live action film for this one as well, The Lion King. I'm not really hyped about that at, at all. And there's been some stuff for Dumbo as well. I know you really don't care, honestly. Just, just know. The live action remake of Beauty and the Beast was, it was just awful. Oh, that was just really terrible reaction. I, I really didn't like it at all. So, why can't just spend the resources on something else instead of continuing the story? You know, kind of like what they did with Once Upon a Time with Elsa and Anna, but you know, do it better. Because honestly, that show wasn't very good. Just, it was just, nah, just whatever. It comes off a really convoluted story and whatnot. I mean, I got nothing against those characters or anything. I just came off that show, came off like a, a waste of potential. We could have had something there, that's all yeah, I'm saying. If you haven't seen this film as of yet, I would definitely say give this film a shot, folks. Yes, sir. It will get an overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. It gets a 6.8 out of 10 for me because it's pretty solid. As always, thanks for watching and take care. See ya.